Dr. Schufer. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to give medications to your bird. Okay? Generally when we send home medication it's going to be in a dropper bottle similar to the one I'm holding. It has a little top on it and if you look at the top initially it's a very fine um, point. Your syringe is usually going to be a small tuberculin syringe that only holds one ml of fluid. To try and put this in here doesn't work. So this is a little tip, and we're happy to do it for you if you want us to help. At the very top of this, there's a little notch, okay? We take a scissors, and we're going to trim above the notch. You got that? Snip it off. Oops. And now I can take my syringe and push it in there, okay? Now, talking about the syringe, can you see this? You'll see the numbers on the side of the syringe and they start with 0 0.1, 0 0.2. That means that's one-tenth of a milliliter, and it's referring to each of the lines, the fine line that we can see here is one-fifth, 0.05, one, 0.1, 1, right? That's one-tenth. We go down, and now we can see this would be two-tenths, three-tenths, 2.5, etc. okay? So what you're going to do is going to take your syringe, let's say we wanted 0.2, I'll start it at 0.2. I'm going to take my, my medicine, this is just water for example, push my syringe in, turn it upside down, I'm going to push the air in, and then I'm going to pull down until I have more than I need, okay? I'm going to gently flick the syringe, oops, <laughs> pause, gently pop the syringe to get the bubbles to the top and this if you look closely right here you'll see this little air bubble as I push back up the air goes into this bottle and now I'm measuring directly so let's say our dose is 0.2 now I have this lined up black line to black line all right remove my my medicine I'm ready to go now when you're going to give medicine to a bird the important thing have everything ready before you get started once you pick up the bird you're only going to have one hand to work with Okay, so when we get a bird, the easiest way to get them is with a towel. Our idea here is we're going to wrap the towel around the bird, and I'm going to place my hand open in the back of the towel. If this is the bird's head, I'm going to want to try and grab the head, because the head is where he's going to bite you from. So we can come into the bird like this and gently grab the, the neck. This is a pretty big bird, but we're going to try it. And see how it goes. All right, now he's not happy about me coming here. All right, my baby. Now here it is, my hand is open. My baby, okay. And I just did a quick grab, okay. Now I wrap him up like a burrito. So his wings aren't flapping, he can't grab me with his, with his uh, nails, okay. Now, if I hold him like a football, that makes it very simple. What I'm gonna do, Hold it upside down, take my syringe, and I'm gently going to put a little bit right there. Put him upright, and he's going to lick it off the top. Go back in, put a little more, and he's, you know, he's supposed to swallow it. You can put it in gently like that, but if you put too much too fast, he may swallow it and, and choke on it. Okay, so once again, we turn it upside down, put a little bit right there and then lift him up and he'll start to lift it. Okay, it's that easy. The real trick is capturing him with the towel. Okay? Once you, I'm going to put him back. When we do that, we're going to keep holding the head, unwrap the burrito, put him into his cage, and then let go. Sometimes they're, they're not happy and they may want to bite you. Now, of course, this bird is not a personal pet of mine, so it's understandable he's unhappy. He, they may be better with you holding. Okay? 